Well, hi there. Um, I just became a close to my heart consultant and I thought this could be a good way to share some of the things I've learned since I started in this process. Uh, I'm going to start off, I want to make a card, but I'm going to show you how I did bits and pieces of the card. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make this uh, flamingo. Well, uh, this is part of the tinkled, Tickled Pink stamp set as well as their thin cuts. So I'm going to show you how to do this with my cuddle bug. So first, I have to get the dies. They're right here. The benefit is, is that when you get them, they come in this set right here. Okay. And you can see here it says Thin Cuts Tickled Pink. It has a number here and it comes with the dies that are highlighted here. So you got this flamingo, this flamingo, these wings, and this wing, and this wing. Okay. And then there's a coordinating stamp set. You can see I use it because I love the flamingos. That has the phrases as well as the wings with patterns and legs and the beaks. Even a cute little heart. So with that, when you get your stamp set, or your thin cut set, I'm sorry, uh, it comes with these sets. The benefit is that this is also comes with a magnet, a magnetic pad that you can actually use to put it where you want it. So... I've gotten pink paper from the Calypso uh, paper set, which by the way is going, I believe that is going out of stock uh, after July 31st. So I'm going to flip it. This is the other side of it, so you can see the pink is there. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to set it in. I'm going to crank it through with my cuddle bug. Okay. So, easy said. Pull them out. So and at the end, it cuts all of it out of the paper. I can use this for scraps or anything uh, if I want later. But then they come out like this. See? So there's the flamingo. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how uh, to put the stamping on there. I mean, you can do it just plain. You can see I've got the paper and then there's the wing cut that cuts out that goes with it but for me I like to add a little bit of flair to it so with having the available stamp set I just figure this uh, makes sense for me to be able to decorate it so uh, for this one I'm going to use this so I'm going to stick this on the acrylic block Okay, like that. And then um, the Close to My Heart product has some great stamp lines, exclusive inks. Um, so for this one, I'm showing you Peacock, but I'm not using that color. Uh, I will be using uh, Archival Black. Uh, there it's in focus. And uh, for the actual base of the flamingos will be Thistle. I'll have better pictures of the actual product when uh, when we're done. So you just put this on, get a good coating, and then I'm going to make sure that I get the right parts of my flamingo, and I just push down to make sure I get everything. And there, so I've got that. So, take that off, and then I'm going to grab the legs, 
which is what I use the archival black for. Okay, and then there you go. So I've got my legs. The only thing I have left is the beak. So in this case, the beak that was closest to the penguin that I used, or the penguin, the flamingo that I used is the one I'm going to use. And I just kind of line it up to where um, I feel comfortable. Okay, see? So there's my flamingo. But I'm not done yet because I want to decorate the wing. So this wing, I'll go with polka dot on this one. So there's that. And I'm going to use the thistle. I'm going to match it up with this wing. And the benefit is it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because it adds a little bit of unique being homemade. But then I'm going to grab one of my little foam dots. Okay, and you can pick these up almost anywhere. And I glue it onto the back, and then I peel off that layer, and then I've got my flamingo. So I just stick it on there to make the wing raised. So this is the card that we're going to make. So we worked and made the flamingo, so then I'm going to work on the rest of this. So I've got three papers here that are from the Calypso set for Close to My Heart. And uh, in here is this pattern right here is the reverse of this. So I'm trying to um, minimize the paper I'm using. Uh, then also I use um, some of the sequins that comes in the Calypso set. It's part of the Calypso Complements. right there and I'll take a picture of that too so you can read it better but so what I did is I glued these together and then um, added this and I stamped this so I'm going to show you on my next step stamping this and then putting the card together okay so now I'm going to do the stamp that's going to go with the phrase and I'll show you how I put the rest together so phrase I chose is best friends which comes with the tickled pink set okay so that then I have my paper and I glue my paper on. And you continue to do that for all of the stamps but what I did is to reinforce what I'm doing is I just kinda moved them all gave a little space so you could at least see it's a penguin or a flamingo then I matched up the edge of that uh, that side okay so you glue those down and then we can use the, the flamingo we just did put him right there and then I would glue this down like that glue that down there and then you just add and you can do it however you want I chose to do it uh, alternating colors and do the pink and the black and white stripes and just alternate it where you end up having the four so overall this even though this looks a little sloppy right now with how I put together will end up looking like this thank you for watching if you have any questions or want to look at buying any of the products that you see here uh, please go to my close to my heart page uh, I should have a link posted in the video uh, once I post it on Facebook thank you